hey class i i wanted to spend some time uh talking about um motion so this came up in class um obviously all of you are developing your own uh, create test your own project uh, but there was a question regarding maybe um, if you're trying to move um, move in a direction and there's like a boundary, something, a wall, something, and that prevents you from moving in that direction. Like basically um, you, you kind of restrict motion in that direction. So um, again, this, this is something that came up in class. Um, there's multiple ways to do that. My experience has been that if you try to draw a backdrop, like draw it, and then have the sprite interact with that backdrop. I, it is my experience in the past that sometimes that it gets glitchy. My students have problems with that. If you want to make boundaries and you want your sprite to not be able to cross those boundaries, I would suggest you resort to sprites. So make, build a sprite. Let me show you how we could potentially do that. So I'll come in here and I'll, I'll paint the sprite. Uh, suppose that I want to make a boundary here so that the the spaceship does not go too far to the left or too far to the right. Then I could uh, use the rectangle or the line, the square or the line, either one. So I'll draw just one like that. Notice it. It shows up there. Maybe make it a little bigger. There we go. Okay, let's just say that's good. No, obviously... Um, maybe you don't want it to be filled in so you can go here to fill and just click on this the line and it's not filled now now it is black so that's why i don't see it right now uh, i'll change the color here to something that is very visible and maybe i can increase the thickness of that boundary so there you go um i can then maybe move it a little Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Get the arrow, move it downward. Just a little more. Something like that, okay? Let's, uh, obviously this is very generic, but let's suppose that you want um, your spaceship to not be able to move. So right now, if I, if I move the spaceship, it can go past that boundary. It has no problem. As a matter of fact, it seems like my boundary is moving too because... I'm in here, uh, so I'll stop. Yeah, really we can call this maybe something like a wall. And the sprite, instead of sprite, we can call it wall. And so to, now, um, again, if I kind of press start here, and maybe I don't want it to move past that boundary. It keeps moving because I'm still in, in the little paint. There we go. Let's position it there. Uh, let me get out of here. There we go. So how do I do it so that it doesn't you go past the screen uh, boundary? Well, for the spaceship, I go to the algorithm that takes care of motion. Notice that's this algorithm um, where the right arrow lets me change the X by positive 8. The left arrow changes the X by negative 8. So if I basically maybe I want to move to the left, but I don't want to again move past the boundary, I want it to stop, I can come in here and I can change this algorithm. I can say if I press on the left arrow and, so I'm gonna grab an end block. If I press on the left arrow and I'm not touching the wall sprite, so I'm gonna go to sensing, actually I'm gonna grab the not, not touching, the wall, then it is okay to change the x coordinate by negative 8. So now I should not be able to move past there. I can't. I'm pressing the left arrow and the spaceship does not move past that boundary. I could do the same with the uh, moving to the right if I like. I could also say, you know what, maybe these space, this alien, alien spaceships, I want to contain them inside this green boundary. So I can go to the alien spaceship and there is a condition to delete a clone. 
If you're touching the spaceship, which would be a bullet, um, when you shoot, that's a clone of the spaceship. Delete the clone, so change score by one and delete the clone. We could add something like, if you're touching the wall, delete the clone as well. So now that would run up your score, but we can give it a try. We can go in here to operators. We can do if touching spaceship or um, you're touching the wall. So I'll put here wall. Oh, that's not the one I want. Notice any alien ship that touches the wall which is really just this little, this green line deletes itself. The score is being run up. That's because the, the, the change score by one is inside of this if condition as well. If I didn't want that, I would put that somewhere else. I could actually go, um, and this is the convenience of making, the convenience of making this a global variable that lives across all sprites is that I can add the score to the spaceship sprite where I say, if I touch an alien ship, wait a tenth of a second and delete the clone, where the clone is the bullet, I can also change the score by uh, one. Go to variables, change score by one. So now my score lives here. Now the, the act of the spaceship touching the wall does not run up the score, where before it did. So again, a way to restrict motion. I guess mainly a way to create a boundary. Notice that you could have, you can, you can draw, you can make a sprite and draw it however you like. Um, you could uh, maybe erase this. Just click, click delete. I want to stop this, but you could draw like something like this. Let me see. Usually when. Oh, there we go. If you if you drag the line and you click the shift key, it it makes it horizontal for you, which is perfect. Oh, I let go. So hold shift uh, shift. It does it, it kind of restrains it to be horizontal. There you go. And then you can click here, and then go up and again hit the shift key, and it now makes it vertical. Horizontal again. Notice you can create a very uh, a, a very nice background here if you like. This is a forty five degree angle. So you have a lot of of play with this. You can do a lot here. Um, that's very interesting. Um, I was thinking here, you could, um, let me grab the arrow here, move this down a little bit. You could have a ball that rolls, right? To the left, falls, and then falls. I'm actually going to code that in a minute. I'll post it so you can see it. And just another example of the things you can do with stretch. So I'll, I'll code here. I'll make a little ball that's rolling to the right. Let me actually even do it right now. I'll add another sprite. This will be simply a ball, so a circle. Oh, again, if you hold the shift key, it makes a perfectly round circle. There it is. I'm gonna actually fill this one. You know what? I can actually grab the little marker here and choose the color there for the edge. It matches the color. It's a little too big, so I'll make it a little smaller. Okay, and I'm going to go to its code. So this, I can actually disable this if I need to. So not a big deal. But I'm going to first position it. So I'll grab it and drag it up here. Notice its coordinates um, changed, 190. So this actually shouldn't take too long. I'll go ahead and put here. Um, when a flag is clicked, I'm going to show um, the 
that's how it looks. Okay, show the ball. And then I'm going to start an algorithm that forever makes it go to the left. Forever. Motion. I can change X by to the left. It would be negative. I'll put negative 2. And then I'm going to do an if statement. If um, I'm not touching. So I'll come to sensing and grab the I'm not touching wall. Operators not. Then I'm going to change Y by a negative value. I don't know if this is, um, I'm starting to think that's going to be a little glitchy. It's probably going to get stuck, but it's worth a try. Change Y by negative two. Try. Oh, I just didn't move there. Stop. Oh, the uh, 200, I didn't put the go to. Go to 200, 164, that looks good. It's not going to where I want it to go. Oh, I put set instead of change. Change X. Negative two and then change Y by negative two if not touching Y. I think again, let me see, negative two. Let's try it. I didn't get stuck. Let's see. Why isn't that nice? Let's do it one more time. Notice what's happening. It's touching the wall right there, so it cannot change the y by negative two. It can only change the x. Moving, moving to minus two, minus two, minus two. Then it stops touching the wall, so it changes its y. Interesting. All righty. I'll have this for you there so you can take a look and maybe it gives you some ideas.